The reason it's happening now is because we have had the global pandemic, the finances of some of the biggest clubs in Europe have been hit, and the owners of a lot of these clubs, especially in England, are not English. Uh, they are American owners who are used to American sports and their ways of running their leagues, which is no relegation. It is a closed shop. There is no pyramid. So what they've done is they've got together in secret meetings behind closed doors and they've decided we can go it alone. And the situation we have now is civil war in football civil war. On the one hand, we have the so-called big clubs in Europe. On the other hand, we have the governing bodies and the leagues. And what you have to bear in mind is the reasons behind this is that the owners of Manchester United, the owners of Real Madrid, the owners of Barcelona are sitting there and saying, we are not playing the big clubs enough. For instance, if you look at Manchester United in the Champions League this season, uh, they played RB Leipzig they played Istanbul Basakshir, uh, they played PSG. To the owners of Manchester United, that is not enough. They want to play Real Madrid, they want to play Barcelona, they want to play Juventus every season and sell the TV broadcast rights for those games. That is the end game. It is all about money. Uh, the owners of these clubs are seeing dollar signs, they're seeing pound signs. At the moment, from being in the Champions League, they're making 50, 60, 70 million pounds a season. Being in this new competition, they stand to make something like £250 million a season. So as far as they're concerned, it is a no-brainer. But I would have to say, I have never seen a proposal like this before in football which has been greeted with universal condemnation. I think you would find it very difficult to find anyone who would stand up and say this is a good idea. It would be interesting to see if the owners of some of these clubs want to do TV interviews today. And I think what will be very interesting in the future is to see what the players and the managers say about this. Because we've heard in the past people like Jurgen Klopp say he's totally against a European Super League. What is he going to say when he's asked at his next news conference? What are the players going to say? What is somebody like Jordan Henderson going to say? What is Marcus Rashford going to say? Do they really want to play in a closed league? Do they want to be kicked out of the Premier League? Do they want to not be able to play in the World Cup or play for England? I think that is going to be crucial. And one other point I would make is this is all to do with money. Nothing else apart from money. And bear in mind, people call this a European Super League. There are, what, 56 countries in Europe. There's only three countries taking part in this. England, Spain and Italy. And the Spanish clubs taking part in this have big financial problems. Barcelona, a billion pounds in debt. Real Madrid rebuilding their stadium, backed by the Spanish state. Inter Milan, their owners, their club in China, the Chinese champions, have just shut down. AC Milan, financial problems. Juventus, financial problems. These clubs need the money. I'm not sure some of these English clubs need the money. And from what I've heard, clubs like Manchester City and Chelsea specifically were not too keen on getting involved in this. But well, what they are they felt, doing there then? Well, they feel that they've got no option. They've been backed into a corner. They think, look, the owners of Manchester City, they don't need extra finance. They don't need extra money. They're rich enough as it is. The same as Chelsea. Roman Abramovich doesn't need more money. But if they see the way the wind is blowing, if they see their rivals setting up this Super League, then they feel that they have to be part of it. And look at the statement that was released last night. Whose names were on it? Real Madrid, the driving force behind this. Juventus, Andrea Agnelli, the driving force behind this and Manchester United, Joel Glazer, the driving force behind this. As I said, it is all to do with money. In the past, we've seen people arguing because they want a bigger slice of the pie. These clubs are saying, we want a new pie, and it's going to be our pie, and we're going to eat it all.